some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop in Indiana where a pair of Sovtards decided to play F around and find out with their children in the car, and the father ends up getting arrested due to his own blatant stupidity and uh, ignorance of the law. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But as soon as I pull up with my lights on in my uniform, full uniform, that is you, my, presence, my presence. My presence enough for you, sir. Is, is, and I'm glad to comply. You're not complying. No, not you, at all. You understand? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that uh, the video begins in the middle of the traffic stop. And already you can see that uh, father is uh, starting to act like a complete sovtard. But wait, it gets a little bit worse. And even the mother acts like it a little, little, little bit later on. So let's carry on, shall we? I you do not understand. Not I do not understand. Okay. I'm happy to comply. You're not providing Absolutely me. Absolutely happy to comply. You could be a convicted felon right now. I, I have no will. Idea. You know that. I do not understand. I could be in danger right now. You're not in danger. I could be, though. You are not people in danger. Don't, people lie to me all I the certify time. to you that I, you all are right. not in danger. Why do you have all this? Where are you coming from? Am I obligated to answer those questions? Am I under an obligation to answer? Am I under arrest? If I'm under arrest, am I obligated? Right now you're lawfully seized by law, sir, and I'm going to issue exactly. a citation to you as well, soon as okay, I can find out what your to, I will. Is. I will be glad to... As soon as you provide me that, which I can lawfully drag you out of this car right now, put you in the back and... That and would be unlawful, my, sir, no, and I not, don't understand. Okay, maybe in your little soft uh world with uh, lead paint laced... Uh, wine, uh, it would be illegal for uh, the officer to ask you for your driver's license in any circumstances, but this is the real world, and here's the Indiana code for uh, that kind of failure right there. So, dude, uh, yeah, you may want to drop the lead-laced wine because it's not healthy for your brain. But I will comply once I get that last bit of information from you. Do you have a driver's license or some type of Sir, I can't give ID any, for any driver's well, license or any form? Of I know, I know you can, I can't. but you're I saying you're refusing, I'm right? Refusing, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm now, refusing. what I will do, since you're you refusing, I will be glad to get you my driver's license and proof of in insurance for commercial driving. Right now, I'm traveling. I'm under common law jurisdiction. And you're a common law moron, dude. As long as you're traveling in the state of Indiana while operating a motor vehicle, you've got to follow the laws of the, uh, the state. Otherwise, you get uh, fines and penalties and everything else like that. In fact, I dare you to go into any other country and try this BS and see how fast you get arrested, dude. I mean, especially Australia, because, well, they don't tolerate that BS there. So I'll be glad to give you... That, uh, do you have a phone number where you can be reached at your at your post? 409-562-8040. 409-862-8040. Okay. Well, thank you for your cooperation. And I will provide you with those commercial documents you request. But at this time, I am informing you that I am not under... I'm not operating under commercial jurisdiction. I am traveling. Oh, so you're not operating under commercial jurisdiction? Okay, uh, dude, you do realize that Indiana, just like any other state, does have a driver's license classification system that does differentiate between uh, commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses. You really should look this up and properly study it before you make yourself look like a complete black brain ignoramus. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle, sir? Sir, I'll be glad to answer any questions for you once your supervisor comes Do you have any here. weapons on you? I will be. I do not mean you any harm, and I will be glad to answer any questions and discuss this once your supervisor arrives. Thank you. I want to speak to your... Well, my gray matter deficient softard buddy, uh, ask can you show receive for the supervisor is already on the scene and uh, so don't go crying to everybody else about how you uh, 
Well, took this to the next level because you effed around and you're about to find out. Right now I have to inform you that you are making me very nervous, holding my door open like that. Here is a commercial driver's license. And here is proof of commercial liability insurance. Eight nine two seven six seven. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think there's going to be a fee schedule involved in this uh, video, or do you think he's not going to have the uh, cojones to present the officers with that uh, rather stupid sovtard trope? Four six one nine eight nine two seven six seven four six one nine. Now I also must inform you that I do charge for any things that I consider violations against my freedom as a man. I am not charging you at this time, but I will charge you if you keep me longer than 10 minutes, if you do me any harm, if you put me in shackles, if you arrest me, thank you, thank you so much. Now I will close the door and I'll speak. To, I will close the door and speak through the window. Hi, sir. How are you today? How are you doing? Uh, I'll be glad to speak to you about what transpired just now. If we close the door, I don't feel safe doing that, sir. I'll be glad to comply with any lawful orders. I can lawfully order you out of the vehicle. I'll be glad to comply with anything that's lawful, but. Right now, right now, he's in violation of my, uh, that I've informed him, and I'd like to speak to you regarding this while he uh, processes my paperwork. Could you please get my dri the, the driver's Step license the that I handed I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. You're coming out of the vehicle one way or the other. Well, now, it seems like uh, you just wanted the uh, supervisor, but uh, apparently the supervisor isn't in the mood for any games that... You might want to play, so you done effed up, dude. Sir, if you put your hand on me, I'll charge you 1,000 uh, silver dollars yeah, per incident. I would be glad. Would you show that to him, please? Would you show that to him, please? Would you? Uh, I'll be glad to. You're coming out of the car. Sir. I'm so sorry that this uh, particular part of the video is blurred. Wasn't my fault. Must have been the. Uh, original uh creator that did that i mean i guess he was just too humiliated by his arrest to even show a uh, clear version of it now the question comes to mind why would you put your children through this kind of thing anyway i mean why did you have to argue with the officer over potentially nothing over something that probably would have been a minor traffic ticket and escalated to a uh, arrest in which your children had to witness this and get traumatized by it. You, dude, you're not exactly father of the year material, are you? And for that matter, the, neither is the mother because, well, you're about to see what she has to say and she's just as dumb as he is. Uh, Gracie, I need you to come up here and I need you to roll the window up. Ma'am, I need some identification off of you. Four. I want to know who I'm dealing with. Can you drive the car away? Uh, I am capable of traveling, yes. I need some identification off of you, please. For what purpose? I can't hear you. For what purpose? I just want to see if you can drive the car away so I don't have to tow it away. Where am I to drive it? Where am I to take the vehicle to? Well, it seems like she's not exactly an independent thinker because this would be an easy question to answer anywhere but here, most likely to your home. Just get it off the side of the road and be done with it and wait for your husband to call you from jail and ask you to bail him out because obviously it seems like he's the, uh, well, the one who has the brains in the family and you're just the follower. That much is clear at this moment. What's that? Where am I to take the vehicle I to? I hear you, ma'am. Where do I take the vehicle to? You can take it wherever you want if you have a valid license. Do you have a valid license? I have a commercial driver's license from Indiana. Okay. I, I'll let you drive it if you show me that you're valid to drive. I can't just sit here? No. 
How long do you want to sit here? So how long am I supposed to, or am I supposed to leave right now? You don't have to leave right now, but within the next few minutes. Okay. You can't live out here. Well, I probably could, but. What's that? I probably could. <laughs> Not legally. Well. Legally, you cannot occupy space out, occupy space out here once we're concluded. Okay. Why do I have to drive? You don't have to drive. I can tow the vehicle if you'd rather. Why can't, why do I have to move the vehicle? I mean, why do I have to drive? He's going with us. We're He's resisted arrest now. For, what's he being arrested for? What's that? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, it seems clear that you don't understand a lot of things. In fact, uh, my suggestion to you is to uh, get your identity back from your husband so you can at least think for yourself. I mean, come on now, woman. That man's got you under his thumb. Isn't it obvious? kind of makes me wonder what their home life is like at home because this woman doesn't seem to have an independent thought in her head. You step out or at least roll your window down so we can do this civilly. Well, I have the window down, but I... No. I'm... Roll the window down more oh, so we can do Sir, this you are a stranger to me. You are a male. I do not feel safe, and I don't care who you say you are. I do not feel safe. All I'm asking for is your driver's license. I guess my question is I don't sure where I'm supposed to go. I don't care where you go. You can go wherever you want to. Ask him where Dad's going. Well, I guess I'm supposed to go with wherever he's going, but I don't know where he's going. He's going to jail. You can go there too. I don't know where that's at. I don't know where that's at. You don't know where it's at. Okay, then. I mean, the officer can give you the address, and if you have a cell phone with uh, internet capability, you could easily look it up on Google Maps and get the directions. I mean, it's as simple as that, but uh, seeing as how you seem to lack some independent thought there, but maybe you can ask for help from somebody else. Maybe your children can understand how to do that. I don't know. But the point being is you really need to uh, grow up, lady, and stop being a codependent wife. Because if he's got this much control of you and everything like that, what happens when he dies? How will you be able to live on your own uh, without knowing how to live on your own? I mean, that kind of thing. Because it seems like he's the one that's controlling the situation. It doesn't matter. You're not going there. Well, I'll show you my driver's license, but it's still not going to help me too much. Yeah, it's going to help you out if you present your proper driver's license. That's what they wanted to begin with, because that way they can let you drive off, and then you can go pick up your husband at the jail when he gets bailed out and all that other BS. I mean, come on now, lady. Think, 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 think. So that's pretty much the end of the video, everybody. I mean, that dynamic between these uh, this married couple right here seems to be quite interesting. I mean... It might be a issue of codependency, like I stated before. I mean, I've seen it before where uh, one spouse becomes so dependent on the other one that they can't uh, survive on their own when the other one passes away. I mean, it is uh, quite sad, really. And, uh, well, lady, you really should get your independence back. I mean, you know, you'd be better off if something happens to him in the future. And if he continues down this path, well, you might end up with a husband that's in prison for a long, long time. So, yeah, it's time that you start learning to how to survive on your own and raise your children on your own because that might be your future right there. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me.
That's the Third Amendment. Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Just, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.